All right, welcome Always back fun. from our Always intermission up. on D20 Theater. Well, uh, one of our players has just played the card Cutscene. It's a platinum inspiration card that they've earned from uh, spending four inspiration points. The DM must play out a scene involving NPCs in an upcoming encounter. So, here comes that cutscene. You basically earned it with the, uh, you can't just do magic, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> so, miles away, two green dragons land atop a farmhouse. <laughs> One of them blasts a blast of caustic breath into a field, killing several cows Aww. as they flee. Each dropping to the ground. <laughs> the other booms out yeah. with a voice. Come out from your stone castle. Come, little lordling. And soon, the drawbridge lowers. What? Um, and out from the castle comes a man, and he's dressed just in a white linen shirt and, uh, and, and some fine silk pants. And it's clear he was just woken up. Um, mm -hmm. by some guards once they saw this uh, this dragon coming. He does, however, have a sword hanging at his side. He looks up and he says, Hold that! We bury you no ill will, castle breakers. We can just chat to some dragons. What brings you by this day? They pay him. And the, uh, the dragons say, You know the terms of our agreement. We don't bother you as long as you send tribute. And as long as you don't send killers to hunt us! And he blasts a breath of gas that sweeps over some nearby chickens in a coop. No! What are you doing on the animals? Oh. This is just to hurt me. He's. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, just to hurt me. Nope. UI yeah. is all the way in the port going, ah, oh, there's, there's animals in danger. Twelve no, tiny no, bears has cried out and was suddenly silent. He says, uh, he says, Sister, I got, they're not. Sister, <laughs> that's the other two I had at a different point a long time ago in the, another campaign. Uh, and he looks. His name is Lannister. Right. He looks to the other one and he says, "Halagrax, tell them what we've done to their friends." We're alive. All and uh, the other <laughs> one says, away, like, uh, "says <laughs> the town of Dampany is no more. Everyone within killed. Go." Loot from their carcasses anything you wish. And if you ever raise arms against us again, or if any nearby do, your village is next. And they both take to the sky and fly back to the west. We should leave. We should just go. Let's just go, guys. That's what I've been saying. Literally, uh, since... You know, eight, no, let's six, keep in mind, we didn't <laughs> see any of that. I am getting more and more anxious as I think about the dragons coming back. <laughs> I almost died. How you guys should have died, but somehow you're alive. Because we're great. Also, all of my sheep friends died, and I'm not okay with that. Three of them lived, but mm -hmm. that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I turn to you, because I think you have a solid head on your shoulders. Yeah. That's and that's I solid. say... We should just go. I've had that in mind since the dragons fled, for <coughs> whatever reason. I don't think that because we beat the nonsense that it won. No, you're not. I was shut not up. up for that. I was literally unconscious from taking sixty-five poison damage. <laughs> he says in character. He says I. I was not conscious for no. that. I was that just that he has poison Are damage. You that that you would just heal us when you, when the that one ran away because I lightened up at it. Well, mm -hmm. I was oh, up. that's true. You're still up. Yeah, you totally saw it. Just take off. Just yeah. Like I, did, I did zero points of damage. That's okay. We should just leave. Let's just. We got what we wanted. We got you a cool weapon. We got a cereal. A good weapon. <laughs> 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 I thought you were gonna call him cereal. 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 Uh, I don't. Think I like that. That's good. Other oh, good weapons here, so we should just leave. You don't want those thousands and thousands of coins. No, it's I mean, fine. We can, we can come back. We got the battle. We can come back for that. Think We're about Lormir. What, is, no, what is the white god? The pigeon guy's name? Harbin. Harbin, idiot. Oh, well, come on there, Veer. If you had to estimate. <laughs> how much 
about how much gold do you think a pigeon can carry? Well, there's no well, way I'm gonna ask you. I'm, I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> what sort of pigeon are we talking about here? <laughs> because there's many kinds of pigeons in this world, and each of them has a different um, carrying capacity. They're, they're your yeah. pigeons. So my pigeons. <laughs> my <laughs> pigeons. <laughs> my <laughs> pigeons. Not a question. Like nice little scroll tubes. So it depends on the size of the coin. Can I see a coin? It's regular. Coin. All right, let's take a look. I have yeah, a little bit of coin, but I, I throw it a so, little bit too hard. If we look up, you want to throw that? I don't want to flip right past me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns up. So, if we imagine that this coin can fit in a scroll tube, which it can, we can now step them up. And it looks like, well, let's see, I want to estimate well, about 30 coins in each of their tubes. Whoa. Now, the amount of pigeons I have. It varies from time to time as messages come in and go out. Currently, I have one dozen pigeons. A baker's dozen, if I'm being honest. <laughs> <laughs> that means that we have 13 pigeons that can each carry 30 coins. Now, we have several options of which coins to take. If we take the gold coins, that would be the most influential. <laughs> yes, ma'am. If we do something else, that's stupid. Let's take the gold coins. You gave my copper one of those. You're right, I did. So that's 14 different <laughs> animals that can carry 30 coins each. Now, I'm no good at maths, so give me just one moment. Let's see, 13. I'm going <laughs> anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll tell you what we're going with, like, you can do that. All right, so 13 times 30. Well, if we have a 30, let's imagine it like this. This is a trip my old dad taught me. If we have 30, we're going to get 13, we can multiply it by 10. So, that's good. You're good at maths, you are. 390 sounds right to me. No, I knew that was my guy. 18 times 3 is 39 times 10 is 390. All right, so. You lied, did it in her head. That means we've got 390 gold pieces. Now, that is a king's wage, that is. We could take 390 of these pieces, yeah? Let's do it. Right, and then there's what we could carry ourselves. Now, me, I'm going to carry my one coin purse. No, I'm just a simple man, I don't have need of more. Now, I know the princess has more than that, but I don't know about each of you. How much do you carry, for instance? Oh. From outside the building. And here. at this point... We have saddlebags! <laughs> at this point, my like, heart comes rolling in, and you, uh, you hear, Hey, we do have saddlebags! What's that about? We're putting the gold in it. We discovered that we could carry 390 gold pieces in the pigeon, and my dog's still carrying... Uh, excellent. We can leave the witch in their place. <laughs> Uh, uh, what sort of, I don't want to be dealing with no witch crap. Now, a wizard's one thing, but a witch is entirely... I quite agree. This one is a uh, disciple of Flindorn. Wait, what's the difference between a witch and a wizard? Is it just, you know, like male, female? No. No. No, no a witch is like dark sorcery. Oh, nonsense. cool. Are you dark sorcery? No. No, but but he's a wizard. <laughs> which is... Which is, which is <laughs> dark. Are you He's, he's unconscious, unconscious oh, right. gagged, bound, and blindfolded. Probably bleeding. You know, probably bleeding. From space as well. You know what? I have no proof that he's a witch. I would like. I to have ample thing. proof that he's a witch. He was being carted here by two fellas from the Crow's Gate. Said they were going to sacrifice him to the dragons. They were. And that makes him a bad guy. I don't know. That was must be what they meant by tricky fellas. The fiends are in me. He cannot be a good man. You probably don't know. Probably don't know. I don't think any of us. Yeah. You might have heard of him. You might have heard of him. Yeah, in fact, you very he's, much might have because he came to yeah, he came to Fallowharp and did a famous performance of the play Mithril Magnolias. Yeah. Um, at which a leading general from Thrimacap was assassinated, and then the blame was placed somewhere. Uh, not the, not on no one knew who did it. It yeah. never came out. Yeah, that's true. But. Flynn got raving reviews. He did get raving reviews yeah. during that play. So now, so you would have definitely heard about this major historical event in Fallowheart. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> would I know? I might have been there. Having been in... No, because you wouldn't have existed yet during the Vampire War. Radical. Yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> well, I, All right, well... When we found this one, he's some sort of spellcaster. He can cast without... Oh, I'm outside. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I would have. I would have gone. He's hitting his head against the okay. uh, I would have called you in. Uh, he was able to cast his spell without uh, using any of the incantations or any gestures that they seem using. Uh, um, you are sure it was a spell? I, very much so. Yes. <laughs> it turned me into a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm gonna get that tattooed up. <laughs> <laughs> I got better. I got better. Got better. <laughs> my eyes tighten. A sheep. In my soul, I know that this man cannot be evil. <laughs> um. So I. He also <laughs> adds himself with the ability to. Um, You're he, good man. He was here one moment and and there the next, and there were. Copies of him, it was definitely spellcraft or some description. What is it exactly that you told you found while you were hunting? Well, this witch. Uh, along mm. with two guardsmen from uh, the Crow's Gate. Gate. That's right, they were bringing him here to sacrifice him to the dragon. Of tribute to anger the higher ups at the gates. I said it was on, but uh, that's wrong with <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> They said it was odd for it to be happening this time of year. So they normally wait till the har- wait till the harvest in order to uh, or the, the beginning of the growing season. I mean, before they uh, tribute anyone. I'm just doing magic. It's just doing something <laughs> over here. I aced my inside check though, so I told him. And so he's some sort of spellcaster. He attempted to murder me. Excuse uh, me. Is master or something in my It's that way, shall we? With the saddlebags, we could carry quite a lot. Oh, hello. Yeah, is he talking hi. about? Excuse me. Um, they're we, uh, they're dragons. This is why I did. They're dragons. This is why I was not here. They're dragons. Mm-hmm. We should leave. Mm-hmm. We can handle this. Mm-hmm. And we should leave later. this one here. No, we'll take him. Why? Because he turned you into a sheep. You are not making a convincing argument. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, if you wanted to kill you, he could. No, he could not have. I soundly thrashed him. I don't know. <laughs> I think he might have been able to, to be honest. Yeah. I don't think no so. No offense, mate, Fred. I mean, didn't you say they had him, like, gagged and tied and stuff? And then he freed himself and... Then and then he turned him into a sheep. Which means then he into a sheep. that they would have that <laughs> <I> was... <laughs> current abilities that he could wreck both of them. Uh, and he is openly hostile to me. Well, that's your problem, Serial. Okay. Yeah, it's something, <laughs> about, uh, something about some flendering or some such. Ah, uh, oh, the actor. I don't know what that means. Yes, that one. I don't know. They said they burned something down. The growth of no end. Many of my people were lost oh. in the The fight. actor. He was, he was one of the pilgrims along with. I'm just thinking of like. Uh, Ronald Reagan, the actor? I arrived at Ireland. I was not there. But um, oh. many of our people were. Kidding me? I lost kin that day, as did most of my people. I'm really sorry if you're lost here. I, the actor was with him. Mm. Why was he there? Was he not portrayed on the performance? He was some sort of petty stage magician with some Ooh. small amount of magic, I think. You're, yeah, you're lucky I'm unconscious. I don't. <laughs> a darn. Not a darn. I'm not very good to ask. What exactly does an actor do? That is a very good question. My good son. Oh my gosh, can I start <clears throat> dancing before we? It does not do that. <laughs> Normally it looks better. I've seen an actor, they do this, and I dance for them. An actor portrays himself as something else for the entertainment of others. I'm going so to sort of like when he got turned into a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> that was for the entertainment for me. That's that's a, a, I'm going to begin the process of moving time. gold into saddlebags. <laughs> I will and help you with that. Let's shake my head. We're going to find the most so. efficient way to do it. Silently. <laughs> you do it silently and efficiently. Thank you. Um, excuse me, Harvin. I would appreciate, very quietly, if you would told me how to do it. But don't, oh, no. be, yeah, okay. I'm thinking about people who cool. only the goat. That's good. That's going to be <laughs> That happens <laughs> while all of this happens. And you and me Yes. Him. Also, the valuables are... Uh, I think it thoughtful. would be a call decision to bring this thing with us. I'm afraid I don't understand what You're not there. Um, it's definitely a strange, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can. I can. I could do it right now. I could walk over and kill him. It would take two attacks. I, I certainly have no real reason to distrust either you or Emir uh, about your um, findings, but I Ymir do to be on board with believe it's hard to understand. He's the same age as weapon. I retrieve his staff and kind of toss it Oh, to him. it is quite a fine. Staff. And it definitely hums with magical energy. And it definitely hums with magical energy. <laughs> <laughs> I discovered this with my meta knowledge check. <laughs> my meta knowledge. Can you move that? Booster move the camera. Oh, where, where does it need to be? <laughs> well, well, it's to the top. Oh, it's, it's, oh. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Okay. It is okay. certainly 
quite fine make and he was in possession of this? Yes. He has a generous benefactor, I imagine. Mm. Or he did one. <laughs> that staff was... You're well, gonna kill yourself! No, no, no. <laughs> the engravings of those who attacked our people. This is the staff of Flindheim. Like the mystical. Scared. I did not see that he had a staff when he was in town. Mm. You see, Flindheim put on a performance uh, many, uh, a few years back, uh, in my home country. It was quite well received. You see, we do not see much performance of that uh, magnitude. It's uh, mostly like little petty <laughs> stuff that the fellows can't create. As uh, as one of the famous lit critics <coughs> once said, the fallows create no art worth anything because true art must know struggle and the fallows know none. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they have to? They have dead people to do stuff for them. But do yeah, they think they have rock art? on. The fallows? No. They think they have good art, but it's all like colorful, fun pop art type stuff. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I like that art. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you like to think? <laughs> my art would be like. Same, awful. I have a oh, you suck on. No. What? Remember on death all the time? No. What? Remember on death all the time? I didn't. I didn't. He said, "Sure, roll to crit you." Sure, <laughs> I didn't roll to crit you. <laughs> that was that was Tyler's <laughs> fault. I rolled um, like an eighteen. I think if he was sent to this place to be sacrificed, he. Hmm, hmm. <laughs> I don't think he's a bad dude. I chime in in the back. How would you know? Because they're trying to pin him to a dragon. Okay, mm -hmm. that and, you don't usually do that to scum. Well, I'll I think this is exactly what we're going to scum. feed somebody to the dragon. I'll drop their big scum. Damn it, she's a criminal. Not my ex-wife's new husband. I tell you. You had me for a moment. You had me a moment. No, that's right. <laughs> no, please go on. I'm, I'm interested in this. I am not. Oh, oh, lady, his name. Wait, so wait. What I was implying is that you know, like when people like throw virgins into the volcano to please the god. What? That's what. I was what? Where are you? From? I know <laughs> what you're talking about. No, I'm British. Yeah. She's right. That's actually over a thing. In, over in Soma, there is there's a big, the big fire mountain, and there's those people what throw people into it. I'm a legend to that. Boom. I'm a genius. Oh, so <laughs> the sons of a gun. No, cool. <laughs> no, not them. Practices, yes. We are not so mathy as you can see. I do not think that this is. Uh, it is easy to make a quick judgment about this man's character as he is unconscious. We should wait until we can talk to him and then. Boom! <laughs> what did I say? Perhaps your judgment should be quicker. Back so soon! <laughs> Romanism! Hey! That's uh, a snack. <laughs> now I think we can are. Can I all roll for initiative? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm leaving, just let me. Our... You're leaving again. Well, oh. I said I was gonna leave, and you guys were like, no, let's talk about this for a while instead of leaving and then talking about it. <laughs> hey, no one is on the trebuchet. <laughs> again. Hey, go get I the can trebuchet. Get there. Just so you guys know. I can be there if you would wake me up. Oh, you mean it's not appears. Wake me up. Wake me up. Norway. Liam. Sign me. Where are we? Right now. <laughs> I don't know where you guys are mentally. I'm doing perfectly fine. Welcome to D20 Theater. <laughs> where we we cover Eminem songs make, in the style of goofy. Make obscure obscure memes and talk about Dang pigeons. It. <laughs> Maybe you guys do, but I normally sit around unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm at the kitchen, kitchen talk theater. The show where D and D songs. All right, zero. Nineteen. Esteem. Twelve. Ah. Bartholomew. Eighteen. Ah! Hey, buddy. You I. Fifteen. Judiferous. Oh, it sounds so good when you say it. <laughs> Fourteen. That's cool. That was weird. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> that was almost as weird as the very young. <laughs> no. No, you're right. You're right. It didn't get there. Let's there. not. Let's there, not and I can have, uh, I can have the two other guys this time. Let's not quote okay, out of context. Stop it. It's from Sense and Sensibility. Jane Austen wrote that. And then Grant delivered it. <laughs> I delivered that line. It was I'm very not sure he delivered that, was that word out of this. Because that was a very awkward freshman. I think oozed that line. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. You ever notice there's only two things you can use? Sexuality and pus. <laughs> Where have I heard that? That's the obvious. Yeah. Reed says that. <laughs> 
Now you can ooze other things. It just doesn't sound good. What is Sam's character's name? Judiferous. Judiferous. The Archbishop of... Oh, I have to introduce your character, so you don't need to send me a game. The elusive Judiferous, the Archbishop of... <laughs> 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 mm-hmm. I was waiting for him to say that, and then for Esteem to do that, like... <laughs> He's not right. conscious yet. So. Zero! <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, I'm, I, which, <coughs> what I was doing, which was gesturing at the uh, unconscious body with my Jeez. weapon, uh, and then I look over towards... Are they up, or are they now mm-hmm. on, on the level with us? They're both resting on the wall, up up, up high in the great, uh, great hall. Mm-hmm. So they're like 25 feet up. I should get the hecking heck out of this room <laughs> right now. Um, I hecking agree. Uh, as hecking do I. Uh, I'm going hey, to... Uh, they're, they're still softened up. It's only been like uh-huh. a couple hours. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to I say... Uh, we should not be in this room, I think. <laughs> uh, and then as I, uh, as I run past, uh, I'm just going to grab my, my crossbow from where it's strapped to my hip, bring it up and loose a shot at her. Okay. Um, <laughs> Should I use this card now or later? I don't know. And later. Uh, does 18 hit? Uh, no. Actually. Ah, bummer. It does not. Bummer. Oh, well. Alright. Uh, uh, then, then I leave. No. Uh, I am going oh, to are you leaving? Well, in that case, she uses a uh, legendary action to come and land right here. Oh. So she lands right in front of the door and she says, I think you should stay. Okay. It's rude to leave without excusing yourself. Oh, do I still have movement after she does that? Yeah. Or is that... I mean, okay. it's, she doesn't interrupt your turn. It's okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll... Okay, cool. I'll basically end where I'm now right next to Barthu. Um, uh, I'm going to cast Healing Word on Judiferous. You wow, are going... thanks, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Well, we might need whatever you have. <laughs> yeah, you I got plenty. You are For dragons? Gain... <laughs> For dragons. Mm-hmm. Two the dragons. You're gonna gain 15 health. Thank you. I'm going to say it's like a quarter of a second. I don't know who you are, but we're gonna need your help. Uh, I dust myself yeah. off. If I would say that, he is bound, gagged, and blindfolded. Oh yeah. Mm. But you are. <laughs> are you gonna unbind him? Yeah, he can start. I'm not near him. Oh, okay. I was on the other side of the room from him. Oh, uh, and then I'm going oh. to move outside. Oh, I'll just get up. <laughs> like, just like kick flips <laughs> up, standing. <laughs> Still like bound, gag, blindfolded. But, but you're not prone anymore. I'm not a leather. I'm hard leather. I'm going on. And then I'm going to make Choking on his an attack. <gasps> oh. Roll this person. So I'm going to. This will be the d20 that I roll I for whatever later. Do you have a different color d20 you could use? No. Do you want to use one of mine? I can do, do you want to use one of my comically oh oversized my goodness. d20? Oh, Just pick your favorite. Okay. Barnaby dice. Uh, those are just pieces. Uh, Alright, so what you basics? got? I've got a boost. Plus boost. It should be the same. A, plus, it should be one higher than that. So yeah, it should yeah. be plus seven. Um, so 18. Alright, you come running up towards her with the mall, swing straight into her, slamming into the side of her leg, but her scaly hide just reverberates. Oh, you know what? Well, I made this, that's written down before, that's written down at level 6, so I have a higher strength. Oh, so you got, well, you still have proficiency um, bonuses, so you got this, right? Yes. So that doesn't raise it? Yeah, it's no. the same. Okay, well then never mind. Then I miss, I suppose. All right. Holy crap, and great. This will be a lot of D20 already. This will be the, uh, now. Yeah. Oh, crit. <laughs> crit. It crit fail? <laughs> yeah. All right, as you slam them all into the dragon. It blows up. Boom! It what? disappears what? in a puff of black smoke. <laughs> what is the other dragon? <laughs> what? 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 What the what? Where did, you go? What did you do? You can feel in your head Where did that, go? that you can just feel the dragon's presence did elsewhere. You get possessed by the dragon? You're now concentrating. You banished it. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> You banished it! Oh, <laughs> Go find so, out. Trevor, thank you, Tyler, for the ban hammer. <laughs> the ban hammer. All right. Uh, that puts us at Corin. Uh, Corin seeing that says, well, <coughs> that's one way to deal with that. <laughs> um, and I'm just, looking up. How many spells did he use earlier, by the way? Uh, you, I know he used math. Uh, he used level 5 and level 
the band hammer. He's, He's level five, level one, and, and one level three level for spirit guardians. Level yeah, so level five, one level each. three, so level four. one for healing word, and, and, level two and a level two for prayer finger. Okay. okay, one of everything except four. except four. Okay, okay cool. Yeah. So he's got. I'm just he's got stuck. quite a lot. Arthur is just standing there, like like he's finished the mall swing, and he's just kind <laughs> of like, like, huh? He doesn't. He just doesn't really move. He's just staring, <laughs> and, like I look across the way at you and go, "Good, well, do it again." <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know how. Um, looking around, he, he holds up his mauls, and he says, <coughs> "My friends, we fight under the light of Laura Mir, for the Night Imperator. You will die." And uh, several of you, let's see, it's everyone within 30 feet of him, which I think is everyone. Yeah. Your weapons start glowing with holy radiance as you have Crusader's Mantle and extra 1d4 radiant damage on every attack you make. Nice. Nice. Like this. All right. You are. Um, goodbye. I, uh, <laughs> I'm going, I make it to the trebuchet. I dash and then step of the wind. All right. And I assumed you already loaded the trebuchet. Uh -huh. So it takes two actions to aim it and then one to fire. So aim, aim, fire. Mm -hmm. All right, Judiferous. Uh, it can't hit anything within sixty feet. <coughs> oh, that yeah, dude's within sixty feet. Oh, I didn't but he know. might not be. Further. That's true. What would it take to get the stuff off me? Acrobatics check. Uh, yeah, it would take. You or could do an acrobatics or athletics, um, or you could just do an op. Oh, but you're bound. Yeah. So one of those two. I'm gonna go ahead and roll at advantage. Okay. Oh, by the way, <laughs> nice. Just so you know. Literally every time you cast a spell, I'm going to be having you do it. Oh, Lord. So, uh, so you might as well roll right. everything in advantage. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, 17 <laughs> just acrobats to get out of it. Combat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 17? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you wiggle through the restraints. That takes your action. You can use your object direction to either do eyes or mouth. Eyes. I don't need right. a mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a mouth. Can I use my bonus action to take the gag out? No, no, no. no. Oh, I don't need it. I'm fine. All right. Uh, esteem. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to... <laughs> so you're blindfolded. Uh, yeah, and then I take my blindfold blind. off to see a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> right here. And, uh... <laughs> maybe be right here instead. I'm Fire up a lightning bolt to that dude. Alright, so that's probably smarter. <laughs> yeah. I am behind the giant bear. Bear. That is That is a-okay. I'm looking at 8, 20, uh, 31. Alright, 16 was the roll. Oh, I think that pass. might be my save. It is. So, so it's 15? It's going to take 15. Uh, All right, blast I, of lightning. I'm going to use as reaction my sorcery point. Oh, bent uh, luck? It did. I bent luck to below that. Oh, 14. So, 14. All, All right. right. What a hero. Sorry. All right. So then it failed. Um, 31. As your lightning bolt blasts forward. I'm going to get arch six. Yeah, the dragon like starts to With beat its wings, yeah. and the lightning looks like it's going to arch straight under, and then Flayn holds up a hand, or Judiferous holds up a hand, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be yeah, and the lightning curves straight up. Nice. Um, and you can see just a zap of, uh, of yellow lightning like intersecting your blue stuff. It curves up. <laughs> <laughs> Into the water. Emer, um comes... <laughs> What? Running towards the dragon, cool. um, and as he's running, you can see his muscles start to swell, and the hair on his arms start to grow. That's so cool. And then he goes, <laughs> and he hits the ground on a him. knee, uh, and you can see like he, 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 his spine contorts, and he drops into the ground, panting heavily. Uh oh. He takes a level of exhaustion. Uh oh. Uh oh. But is he transformed? Is he a werebear? No. Ooh, yeah. Uh, so he's just a normal guy, no. That's that's, that's Holgrax uh, flies upward straight overhead to here. <clears throat> so he's basically over this area. Mm -hmm. um, and then blasts downward. So now's the time for a scatter. So right. again, so oh. everyone can take a dash action and get out of there. As a reaction. <laughs> as a reaction. Oh, you are you using your so blast but are straight you down. Down. You're not in range, though. So well, he's uh, he went straight up, so he may because sixty foot cone, so it's sixty feet wide. It's in. I have advantage yeah, I, on I, every check, so and so. But it's, he's probably only, it's probably only thirty feet. Yeah. I, I was gonna say I got a forty five foot move. So I'm out of there. If I and then Corin will definitely Corin's gonna come over here to check on Emer. He's just my friend, and he goes running over towards yeah. Emer um, with his dash action. So I think he may still. Yeah, wow. these two will get hit, and you'll get hit. Okay, man. All right, so roll a con save. 
But, oh, I was listening earlier. 18 doesn't suffice. It does not. Amber passed. Crazy. Corin failed. Oh, Flan. Uh, <laughs> Dang it, I did it too. Yes. Yeah, Judiferous. Medud. This is probably where I, I go was, down again. I was going to say, yeah. I'm sorry for beating the nonsense out of you, but I'm, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. All right. <clears throat> 55 poison <laughs> damage. What? <laughs> Yeah. I go. It was 65. Right? I, I arc the lightning, look at the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're sitting there holding your hand up, and you got this through the bat, you got this big smile on your face, and then you. <laughs> and then drop to the ground. It doesn't even really hit him, just the barest whiff, but he's so like, close to unconscious that it doesn't matter. So Poor there's guy. a question Do you have to breathe in a green dragon's breath to take damage? No, it's okay. a corrosive. That's what I thought. Yeah, it's just it's, it's gross. Nasty. Yeah. All right, and Corin is sort of stumbling and choking under it. Um, all right, Helgrex isn't here, and that puts <laughs> it Cyril. Uh, I mean, he's he's thirty feet up, right? Yeah. So I can't I can't get in range to uh, attack. How high is the fence? The fence is like five feet, oh, okay. if that. Yeah. Yeah. So not not impressive. I'm gonna just it's shoot to keep him. sheep in. Yeah. I'm just gonna <laughs> shoot at him with my bow. All right. Uh, just take a take a good shot at him. Uh, not a very good shot though. All uh, right. He's he's uh, awfully. Big. Fourth dude. Uh, I am going to move over to the store. Is it closed or open? Uh, it is currently closed, I'll but it's going to be easily open. Open it. Open it. Drop your gum. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was like, why do you put that there? Camera? I, uh, could I get... I don't think... Yeah, I don't think I could get all three with a... Uh, he he barely took anything. Yeah. They would never okay. yeah. Well, then I will, in fact, healing lance. All right. Um, and I'm going to. All right. What's the healing? I nearly asked what was the damage. <laughs> what's the healing? What's the damage? reverse damage? <laughs> um, the anti damage. The undamage. So 17. The fix. Uh, 28. Nice. Oh, 28. Big money. Okay. Right. Nice. Oh, whoops, I subtracted. Oh, yeah. I think I will have moved in now. That'll be it. So, all right. Um, Corin, leaning over Eomer, says, <clears throat> Come on, you got this. Get back up. Get back up. And Eomer <coughs> seems to have a new wellspring of strength uh, as his level of exhaustion fades away. Oh, wow. no, he just dropped a greater stone. Oh, does it take greater for that? Yeah. Oh, never Sorry, then. All right, and that I was like, like, "Man, that's amazing that he, he just says that." Um, and then he uh, he lets loose his maul, and it starts floating. <gasps> and he yeah. says, "Go and strike with the like of Loromir." And the maul goes flying mm -hmm. towards the dragon. Fantastic! Yeah, so that's Get spiritual weapon, you punk. Okay, so that is gonna be uh, a hit. Yeah, because that's 19. All right, Woo! and that's going to be you. I almost got him. Seven force damage. I hit him, wow. I hit him at an 18 earlier, so 18 is wow. not quite, so 19. You are. The AC we're looking at. So, how does this ballista work? It's a trebuchet, <laughs> but it's, oh. it's two actions yeah, to aim it, and then one turn. to fire. Two actions? Mm -hmm. So, this would be your first action moving. Yeah, it would be literally useless. Because it would take three turns, and it takes two to aim it. Yeah. So by the time I actually get to fire it, it's probably gone. Okay. I mean, it's a big dragon. And there's another oh, one. Oh, I see what you're saying. It might have moved. Because it might have moved, yeah. I mean, it's so totally unless moved. you've got multiple people on it, yes, that's yeah. trouble. So then I'm going to use my card. Oh, uh, she's going to be aggressive. Until the end of the encounter, I have advantage on all attacks, and my position the bonus is doubled. Okay. Oh, get it in here. So then... And that's not the big blow up into the road one, is it? No. no. Okay. No. <laughs> no, that's a uh, moment. Blaze of Glory. Blaze of glory. And no, that big... one I think is just, you choose an enemy, they die, and so do you. Uh, no, uh, Blaze, no Blaze of Glory is like doubled everything, double damage okay. dice, but then you die. And resistance yeah, be aggressive damage. is what Jetson used to ruin Strahd's whole day. Right, nice. In so between the rest of us. 21. This is my oh, bow. Yeah, with my bow. Shrikey. I'm sorry. The first one does six. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the next one okay, also buddy. does six, and it's way more than twenty. All right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, two yeah. arrows seek down the heart of this dragon and slam straight into his chest. He roars 
And no one's around, so you don't get do anything. Esteem. Oh, Judiferous. Judiferous, you. I am you're up. I get up. I the object look. interaction. Get rid of the. <laughs> the gag. The gag. Got me too. All right. Uh, I stand up. I'm going to because I don't want to spend any more sorcery <laughs> points. <laughs> I'm gonna shake the gag. I, I go. I suck. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> I put it in my pocket. I look at the oh, I look at the Wet trebuchet sucking. that she's having a hard time <coughs> pushing it around. So I go, huh? Well, I, I dimension. I didn't even do it. Yeah, she just shot a bow. Okay, looking at you trying to, I'm gonna dimension door next to the trebuchet. <coughs> uh oh. Roll a thing. And then wild magic. Uh oh. Do you have a table pulled up right here? Twenty three. Your skin turns a vibrant shade of blue. <laughs> of yes, yeah, so you disappear oh, and you reappear. You've got this vibrant blue skin. I don't even notice it yet. No. I don't notice. I do. You do. You're I like, just... why are you blue? And also, you're esteem. Uh, I am going to <laughs> scramble up this wall here and shoot off another lightning bolt to this guy. All right. Uh, uh, here to help. Yes. <laughs> stop. Stop it. Why? I knew I was gonna roll that one. The first one. I knew it. Yeah. I was hoping Nine. Do ha, ha, 28 yeah. lightning damage. Alright. Man, you are just on point with those lightning bolts. That's all of them. Alright. Oh, we're we're, we're Yimmer. Out of 30. Yimmer. Yimmer. I'm Yimmer. Alright. Yimmer. Red coat turns around. Red coat. Red coat. Be with me, Red coat. <laughs> and he tries to shift again. Uh, uh, and as he does so, uh, you can see his hands like growing and claws coming out of them, uh, but as, as that starts to happen, uh, suddenly, uh, suddenly, like, you see a, just a loose plate of bone erupt from his oh, back, and he goes, ah! snap. <laughs> and he hits a knee again. Holgrax, not Holgrax turns around and comes oh, swooping you. towards oh, this team. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, please do not! Yes! <laughs> And Here as he lands, he swoops down with both claws, not even landing. Swoops down with both claws and grabs onto you on the either side, 21 and 24. <sighs> For 18 and 14 slashing damage. 32. Oh, wait. Wait, comes the what's your, wait, hold on. What's your shield? It brings you to 20. I could potentially make it 24. Is that within range? Is there a range on that ability? I'm not sure. I won't do it because I don't know if there's range. Yeah, All right. This is about. Then, you. as he's got you in both yeah. paws, he just reaches down and takes a big chomp on you. Twenty-two to hit for twenty-six total damage. You down? By three points, that brings me down. Ah, bummer. All right. Uh, when you, when another creature right you can see makes an attack. Oh, okay. So, oh, yeah, four. Then so I will shield feel that. Okay. Nice. Okay. So as he comes to bite down on you, suddenly mm -hmm. you see through these eyes on a white mask. <laughs> um, ah. and, and like you, you, the, the dragon pulling away, you can see the mask is a little bit in front of you, and it's a frowning drama mask. <laughs> <laughs> what is it Just happening? creates a, like a barrier. <clears throat> Zero. You. I'm going to run that way. Yeah, you thought you were going to hate me. How, how did you get up there? Uh, uh, well, how, how high up is that? The wall? Like 30 feet. Oh, okay, I see it. Uh, okay, so I was... <coughs> that was the last miss, which we did. 4, 5, 6, 7, I love 9. Switch. I'm going to have to dash. All right. Uh, so one, two, three, four. And now that I'm here, uh, nothing I can do. All right. I dashed. Uh, Actually, you know what? I will not dash. I'm instead take a shot at him. Okay. Uh, and then I'll just move next turn. Take a shot with my bow. Nope. Not even good. Should've All dashed. right. So, going running forward, you take a shot with your crossbow, right? Crossbow. All right, you take a shot with your crossbow, it slams into the uh, the dragon's back, and the dragon just turns its head over its shoulder. Yes, yes, come this way, please. All right. Oh, good. I'm going to one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll just approach this tree. All right. <laughs> Hello, tree! <laughs> and as I, uh, as I am moving to, like, help engage the dragon, I'm going to place a hand on myself, and... Um, Say just by the grace of Lord Mayor, please protect me. <laughs> and I'm gonna cast death, death word on myself. Alright. Corin, oh, nice. still with Eomer, says, Alright, you're clearly suffering from some kind of trauma. Look, whatever it is, stop. We don't need you right now. Okay. <laughs> oh, we, okay. He says he says we need you to stay here. 
stop trying to fight and protect yourself. And he comes striding out as the maul uh, returns to his hand. Um, and he flings up a hand and uh, and another, like a throwing hammer basically goes flying <laughs> in the air and uh, swinging around. Cool. And that is going to hit wow, for nine bludgeoning damage. He's, he's chipping. Or nine force damage. Force, yeah. um, and then he holds up a hand and he says, You're missing! That won't do! And he blasts a guiding bolt. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hand. That one, however, misses. He says, Well, neither will that. <laughs> Uh, it happens to the best of us, it seems. You, I. Um, not me. Uh, I got a 28 and a 29 to hit. Buddy. All right, you're not helping him with the trebuchet? Nope. No. Okay. Uh, still. All right, well, you hit twice. Uh, and I do 17 damage. I you if you started damage. doing it, I would help you. But right I couldn't. Now, I damage endured. Well, right now, I think you're just over here to cast spells like a wizard. All right, Judifer. Judifer, uh, do something. I start... Aiming the trebuchet. <coughs> Look, I go to reach for it. I go. Ah! I'm ah! And then I start moving the trebuchet towards the dragon. All right. Turn me around. Is steam. Uh, I'm in this dude's hands, but uh, uh, I guess have him uh, make one more wisdom saving throw against mine. Speak. Oh, take him sixteen. Yeah. Nineteen. Okay, and he's gonna take. <laughs> Gonna take six psychic damage. Good job, punk. All right. What was your other four things? Ah, uh, they're gone. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, yeah, yeah, useless. Um. All right. Emer is now in there, and he he looks over at Corin, and he mutters under his breath, "Nobody tells me not to fight." And he goes running forward. Uh, but not. But oh, is he bear in this? And time? this time. Okay. He erupts into bear form and goes barreling ah, past you Lauren. Did the Sorry. joke once already, and I enjoyed it. I like the design too. And he he makes it all the way over here to Cyril, and he's just he's running straight past you, Cyril. That's cool. Holgrax lifting you up in front of him says, "No, where is my mate?" And goes to bite you. Uh -huh. Mate or meat? Mate. <laughs> Dead men tell no tales. Oh. Uh, 28 to hit. Yeah, that's, 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 that's about to be it. Dealing 16 total. Oh, I'm still alive. That was his bite. <laughs> no. And then squeezing with a claw. Oh, okay. he hits with a 30. <laughs> Good. For 10 damage. Nice. Six, yeah, that'll okay. All right, and he throws you across the battlements there. Huh. And then he turns around and goes swooping down. Huh. You've come oh, me. great, now i got to move it again. <laughs> but the action's still counting because it was that same right direction. Yeah. You're still moving it the right way. Cool. So uh, that would also count. Uh, and he comes swooping down towards you with his other claw at the ready and sweeps down for only 13 to hit. <laughs> I block it with my new scimitar. All right. And he says, give me Helidrax or die. And that's going to be Cyril. I'm no. going to choose a death. I'm going to choose the death. Uh, and I uh, speak the command word again, which is, you are then. And it ignites into flame, and then I slice twice across him. One, two. Bleah. Neither one together. <laughs> yeah. All right, as you do that, 14. he just grabs onto it with his claw, and you can see this burning light from within his claw. Have we had, a, uh, have we had a, any sort of a rest? Have we had a short rest? Nope. Uh, no. no okay. Can he do a thing? He has a reaction once a uh, once per rest. I believe, is what yeah, I saw. Yeah. Oh, Guided Strike! Yeah, he grants a plus 10 bonus on oh, attack. Oh, cool. Well, then one of them's gonna hit, that's for oh, sure. Oh, within 30 feet, though. Uh, uh, oh, he's not dead. Rip. Never mind. All right. Son of a gun. So that puts a sad uh, bar All right, I'm going to... One, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> I'm gonna so start striding across the battlefield, and as I do so, I'm going to uh, raise them all and cast the Guiding Bolt. Okay. Uh, which should hit him. Um, that's going to be a 21 to hit. Yeah, will hit. The damage is not great. It's whatever. Uh, it's, it's eight damage. damage. Help UI see how right. much. But it's gonna. It's gonna. Right. Yeah, 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 never mind. Uh, and then uh, e Corin walks up behind you, and he says, "Duck." And he blasts a guiding bolt from his maul as well, gotcha, using nice. yours. So it's the, the next shot now has advantage, mm -hmm. and that one hit uh, for 
Oh, yikes. Uh, 10, 16, 21. Oh, maybe that's maybe that's what needs to happen. They rolled like 5, 6, 4, 6. That's yeah. a broken party? It's like just like a bunch of you guys with guiding bolts. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> right. You are. You are. Can I? So if I launch this trebuchet, do I still get my card? My, if you launch a trebuchet, you'll miss. It needs one more move. No, no, I know. But like, just if hold I your hold action. action, I still get it. Okay. Can right. she hold action nice. until I yeah. Cool. Um, that's true. She's getting that's ready to cool. cut the string as yeah. soon as you do. What damage does it do? Eight D10. <laughs> Juniper. <Juniferous. laughs> um, I start. I I move. I see the dragon fly. Go. <laughs> and I start moving it back towards the dragon. And as at like as she's like looking down the barrel to see, uh, as soon as I get next to the dragon, I just hear her go. <laughs> And something flies. <laughs> and it hit. Oh no. She yeah. got, she's I need two more. Okay. I get him. Got him. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so she's rolling 16 d <laughs> How much health does this thing come up? All right, guys. Man, None. <laughs> it's it's dead. You don't want to add it up. You don't no, have to. Looks like about yet. fifty I, damage. I do want to add it up. All right. So go ahead. So a You're boulder so goes hurling <laughs> from the trebuchet. Oh. Uh, just this crashing projectile just tearing through the air, and it lands like a strike of lightning in the side of the dragon's skull. <laughs> and you can see its neck snap, this long serpentine neck now hanging loose, and the dragon slumps over and tumbles from the ramparts onto the ground below. Uh, hmm. I look over at him. Did it need us? I look over yes, and I, I I raise them all and I'm like I I don't think I don't, I don't think we're done, uh, I I know it's somewhere. But then fix the wizard. Oh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I did 99. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's half that thing's health. <laughs> I am not familiar with how Spanish works. It'll last for ten rounds and then go away if it's native to this. I mean, if it's if it's native to this plane, it'll come back. If it's not, after ten rounds, it's just gone. But dragons are native. Yeah. So, but does it? Where does it come back? Where it, where it was. was. So right there. So okay. Right, right here. I am going to. I'm going to climb up onto the battlements and be healing our 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 wizard. All right. Oh, and sad. as I do so, I'm going to dictate to those over there. I'm going to say, right in front of the doors. Ready the trebuchet right uh, into the doors. Okay. Um, I gotta raise a thumb, realize my hand's still blue, and cover it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get next to where he said it's supposed to be, and I'm gonna ready an attack. To All right. Get it when uh, Corin comes over, and he's uh, he's holding his uh, maul at the ready, and he says, "Now, where did you learn to do that, my cleric? Normally, only the highest ranking among the church have that power. I I don't know how to do that." Well then, all the better. I like this guy. I like this guy. All right. Uh, so, are we just waiting? We're just um, wait. I mean, we're gonna get the ballista. Are ready. you guys readying the trebuchet? Yeah. They are readying the trebuchet. Oh, on there, and we can yeah. all. Can I like can give the command and drop concentration? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So all right. So all we need was ready. Really quick. Really quick. <laughs> before like I'm him. going to um, before we make the ready, I'm gonna cast a, a cure wounds on our okay. our friend. Uh, I mean, no, I was. Oh, and I guess Ian lives over here too. Mm -hmm. No, you win. Nineteen. Nice. Very. Make sure I get my advantage. You always feel so much <laughs> so much so so, so close by. That's a crit. Good. Wait again. Uh, from me. Oh, okay. Her. I so don't know what you got. I'm, I'm just gonna, happy that I get to. I'm going to just say, like, on three. <laughs> One, <laughs> two, three! <laughs> you were sloshed. Oh, yeah. Can we just say this thing's dead? Because we're all <laughs> <laughs> I did 25 damage to okay. in one swing. And one of you guys can attack because you guys will, will have already aimed it. So yeah. you can cut it and she can attack. That's what she's doing. Oh, well, yeah. perfect. Um, oh, oh, I see what you're saying. So if you cut the string, yeah, you can make an attack, or you can make I'll a spell. I'll just launch magic missiles. Yeah, there you go. Do it. You oh, launch magic missiles. That was a seven. Oh, 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 oh. Two. oh that's four. Max damage. Yo. So four, four, four times three, 12? 12. 12. 12 force damage from my fingers. 12 plus three. Plus three. 
It's fifteen. Uh, fifteen. Can I can I do anything or is you, you drop something? in concentration? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, drop in concentration is a three action. I will guide him both. I pick up cards from my pocket. Well, well, if you got her, yeah. that'll give me advantage on my. Oh, on my... Corin crit on his uh, getting bolt. Oh, oh, oh boy, Corin. This dude's well, rolling well, it. We are we are about to just wreck this thing. And you are yours now. Fifty-five. Yeah. No. Fifty-five from the trebuchet. Trebuchet, okay. All right. The trebuchet. And in a flash, <laughs> as soon as it appeared, the dragon is slain. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! And just <laughs> trebuchet falls yeah, on the face. Yeah, trebuchet is like. Uh, yeah, yeah. all these strikes hit her from all sides. Guiding bolts blast into her, and she says, "Fools! Did you think that would be a poof?" <laughs> and just <laughs> run by a boulder from the trebuchet. It was almost comical. Is it fifty-five damage? Did she say? Did she say anything as she comes back from banishment? Just like all of a sudden, with everything like oh, she's done. All right. Right. And now you are all also dragon slayers. Welcome to the fold. I was already a dragon slayer. <laughs> but, uh, yes, yes, well. That is so cool. Also, high five, dude. I like him. So that is high five. He's blue. What? Yeah. I'm gonna cast <laughs> prestidigitation to save my skin. To temporary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not blue. What? No. <laughs> if you like, I you might be able to heal that condition. Yes, please! <laughs> yeah, he takes you by the sides of the face, and he says, The Lord may have blessed this child. May your light shine upon this you. Child. Well, he and, uh, and and from the top down, the blue just starts to fade. Sweet. Ah. Oh. My mind's so, uh, <gasps> What do we do with these dragons now that they are defeated? Uh, is there something we can. Alvis from them, are they uh, the tweets? Or... You see Eomer still in bear form, sit down against the wall, just... <sighs> Can I medicine check, cut open this dragon? Uh, I'm gonna actually what? go over and what? talk to him. And they have very pearls quiet, like, inside their throats. I kinda want a pearl one time. Just grab it, you know open their mouth and grab it. It's not quite that easy. No, it's like in, it's... What do you know about it? <sighs> I'll be fine. It's not the first bad shift I've had. Can I also do a medicine check on one of the dragons? Yeah, sure. Can I do it with any bonuses since I am... Yeah, you know what? Let's give you advantage since you're draconian. Yeah. Oh, I could do it. What's your medicine, though? Uh, it's good. It's oh, wisdom, good. and then I have uh, proficiency. So, uh, 18. Yeah, all right. So digging around in one of them, you do find a green dragon. Ah. Oh, and I'll do it. Can I do the same to the other sure. one? Sure. Do it again. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, even better. Even way better. better. All right, you find another. Nice. I'm going to cast one. message to Cyril and say, Judiferous always repays unkindness. Well, at least we find out that he wasn't so bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> one can only hope. Am I allowed to respond? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 25 words. Your best shot. Actually, message doesn't have that restriction. Only oh. sending. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. I'm going to walk past Ciro, like, don't even look at him, and I'm going to extend a hand out. Oh, you're all the way down here. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have the, uh, the two. Goes, no, no, I'll go ahead. I'll come. And he stands up and goes, ah! and shifts back into his human form. I'm going to uh, extend, as I extend my hand out, I'm going to, a card, a business card. What's this? Call me anytime you need me. It just says, the elusive Judah first, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do a lot of things. How do you how do we call you? It says it on the card. Lost you food. like this. Jadifers! <laughs> yes. It worked. Whoa. <laughs> Mind blown. You. <laughs> well Harbin. How much of this gold do you think we can carry now? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I imagine we won't be able to just carry on. I was, was interested in hearing what uh, was about to happen here. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Hello, human? <laughs> He's a child of Laura Mir, like oh. us. I am not so certain. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, as you say that, I walk so, kind of clo not too close to Craig. I'm on the, I'm on the wall. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then I... I place my staff on the ground, let go, it's still standing. Um, of course. I bow, and as I bow, extended my hands out, and then, like, fireworks come out from my fingers. Ah! 
And I then stand in I awe. come back up, and then doves. Wow. Is it a John Woo movie? And then I look and I say, I am the elusive Judiferous, the Archbishop of. It wasn't finished. <laughs> Why are you clapping? The Archbishop of what? Your birds and lights. It's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and he was blue, and now he's not blue. I told you, you he was I lean against the Lord Bishop. I lean over to Esteem since I'm up there on the battlements with him, and I whisper in his ear, There's two of them now. He says he's the Archbishop of what? What? Of what? What? Of what? <laughs> what are you the Archbishop of? <laughs> My good man, I'm the Archbishop! Of? of. What? <laughs> <laughs> It's like Doctor Who. <laughs> Archbishop what? He's up first. He says he's the Archbishop, so obviously he's the Archbishop. Oh, what? No, there's he's... only one Archbishop, and he's the Lord Bishop that sits in the room. <laughs> so you think. That did sound like blasphemy to me. He made birds happen. So we know who you are. Okay. Look, you are the Archbishop of something. No, you I'm the Archbishop of... Oh. <laughs> okay. You are the elusive Judiferous. Good, 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 this mm, Archbishop of something. And what is it that you do, Judiferous? Blasphemes. Uh, I'm going to cast a major image of a curtain in front of me. I'm going to then... Uh, let's see, I'm like right here. So a curtain goes up. As the curtain goes up, I walk around to the other side of the building <laughs> and I drop major image. Roll D100. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Where'd you go? He fireballs himself. Uh, <laughs> oh, he does. <laughs> just, from behind, we just hear. <laughs> <laughs> all the just immediately. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, what did you do? <laughs> Up to three creatures you choose within 30 feet of you take 4d10 lightning damage. Oh, 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 two. Two. So it can be zero. Oh, okay. I'm going to cast lightning in the air. Yeah. 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 What? Um, Corinne says you went around the building. I pop my head out. I, I can see. Oh, no, I repressed the meditation, my voice. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't look down. You made the curtain five feet tall. He places a hand in his chest and thaumaturgies and he says, You most certainly did. As the voice comes up. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Walk back around the building. Uh, and when you, he come, when you come back around, you see that he's lowered his grip now on the wall and he says, Well then, Archbishop of. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Knight Cleric Corin. And this is Knight Cleric Bathroom. And we are representatives of a crusade against unholy blasphemers here in the West. And do you now find yourself a victim of our hammer? Or do you swear by redemption and retribution? I mean, he did help us fight the dragons. I swear by Mary Minton performance. That seems important to him. That was not one of the options. Well, I mean, those seem very important to him. It may not be an option that he gave, but it's an option I choose. You have one more chance to seek your penance right. in the eyes of the Lord of Light. Light as in... The light of Lord Spotlight? Of then yeah. yes. I love the spotlight. <laughs> I love the light. You swear then to the Lord of Light, Lord of Mir, God of all men? Well, now let's not get too hasty. <laughs> 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 Despite everything, you're like kind of coming to his defense. I mean, none of us have, well, Barthun, uh, of course, is an exception, uh, have sworn to this uh, Loromir. And yet, none of this. you have blasphemed claiming to be a bishop. Eh, he speaks the truth. Or an archbishop at that. I never said what. Then what? Oh. Yes. Mm. Of. Nice of. You are an archbishop of of. <laughs> of. Yes. Shut up. 
I believe I you're not making many friends this. here. I do not wish any harm upon anyone of Voromir. I wish to bring them merriment and happiness. I look to Corrin and I, uh, I just say, perhaps it is best that we show this blasphemer the grace of Loromir and save our judgment for what he shows in the future. Perhaps his contentions are as good as they say. Were it not for your aid against the dragons, you would have been put down. Just like any other blasphemer. You've earned this one slight against the Lord of Light. Does he have pockets? He does. Oh my god. Uh, no. They're like pouches. But he says that you've earned this one slight against the Lord of Light. Another. And judgment is all I will have for you. you. Your gold card doesn't say Archbishop of, does it? <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Uh, I only printed you one character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I am not going to say anything about that. All right. Corin turns around and he says, uh, he says So, Bathum? I, I grab a business card. Side. I'm going to wipe off Archbishop, press the dedication into his pocket. Wipe it off. And he heads back to check on Errol. <laughs> Can I go into what's the creature's name again? I'm sorry. Duferous. Duferous? Okay, I'm gonna Archbishop of. Um, oh, don't say that part. And I'm gonna be like, hey, can you show me how you did the the thing with the birds and? Oh, this, and then I make a dove appear. Yeah. The the can are, you uh, magical tricks? Can you do that? Yeah. Any uh, any young uh, student can pick these up. Bar maidens do tricks. Is this the difference? My good sir, My I do illusions. Sir. Does does <laughs> your birds do they have to be doves? Could you make pigeons? Please do not do this. I just <laughs> I'm gonna make a pigeon right there. Now that is quite impressive. That means we've got fourteen pigeons. So if we want it to happen, one hundred and twenty gold. <laughs> if my calculations are correct. <laughs> so is this the difference between wizardry and sorcery? Is that one? Uses magic and one flaunts it, I suppose. Is that what you are? Well, they called him a witch. I assumed that that was. Ah, more and I ever heard talk of Flinder in the Mystical. Well, Flinder in the Mystical says Adderall as she emerges from the tower. He is a, an actor among actors. Among truly, a, a, he truly a He is a crafter of stories. It very much is. I saw him perform once in the Hayfork. Is this your new love? When I was very young. What do you mean my new love? Oh. Her. Every character has you fall in love. Oh with yeah, them. for and sure. You literally forget their names. Yeah. <laughs> she says, uh, when I was a child, he performed just before the Vampire War. My father took me to see a performance once. He was quite good. Do you remember the performance? Do I? Why well, yes, I do. What was it called? Well, it was called uh, Traveling Cart, uh, named Desire. <laughs> <laughs> I bend over and say, I played Biff. No. I I know your face. That was me. That was I you. pull out a headshot. It's a painting and I sign it and I say, it's always wonderful to meet my fans. Oh, thank you. You know, Flinderin was really quite an artist. It's a shame I, his, his death cut short his career. I'm a message. Oh, yeah. I send a message to, uh, as soon as she says that, I send a message to Cyril and I say, Hear that? <laughs> I never thought quite hear how he that he it. died. I did hear that. <laughs> he said out loud. Hmm? He said a louder message. Uh, I think I, I look right at you and smile, but then I, I do say it silently. I, think. Jesus, I never did quite hear how he died, just that he did. Actors, you never know. What might it happen. was not long after he made paid visit to the Fowler Hearts, in fact, with his <laughs> mystic magnolias or uh, mithril. mithril magnolias. Thank you. Um, <laughs> It was quite a show. Made an impact on the on the island for years. I do not think we have been able to replicate it. I but that does not answer my question. His hmm. costume Baba never was quite fond of uh, fellow art, I remember. <laughs> yes, well. Who is this lady? This is the uh, Princess, Princess of Hayfork. Oh, okay. her, her daddy's king of the Hayfork. 
Cool. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> 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 These are like anime so sweat and drop. Hat. No, they do know that they're art. <laughs> they do know they are labor. <laughs> they know that as well. <laughs> <laughs> now, art is a uh, labor matter. You get it correct. It is a sweat. It is a real job. And it's, uh, it's pretty Mom. Dumb. The, the magic you, you possess, this is not something that you have learned. It is something that came to you. You have not earned this ability. Is that correct? What's your definition of earn? You have spent time in practice and Oh, no, I have. It's it called is. rehearsal. <laughs> I'm afraid you do not understand. It does rehearsal involve much reading? Yes. <laughs> okay. After a while, until we're off book. <laughs> in, in, in much practice with a with a senior uh, caster. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, normally we have the agents of casting. Then it sounds like we are of the of a similar path. Though the magic you wield seems strange, you, uh, you were able to bend my lightning bolt. I recall. I am. How did you manage that? One could say, a bend of luck. That is one way to put it. I would have to look into this. Tell me, who is your who is your master? Who's my master? Yes. <laughs> the majestic flickering. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, was Flynn a caster of magic? I believe he was an artist and a, a, a actor, as it were. Yes, I've not heard anything of him being a wizard. Oh. He used magic in his art. Oh, much as the Hishite do. The what? The Hishite of his scene? The Ayats of the Golden Empire. Two. Surely you've heard of the Hasim. I'm good. I have, but I spent <laughs> time. You are correct. <laughs> well, you've lived a lucky life to not have heard of them. No, I have heard of them. But you said not quite. <laughs> But not quite. He doesn't use it like they do. Ah, I understand. <laughs> I don't know what he refers to. He misunderstands. All right. I think we will agree to not understand each other for the time being. Uh, I, I, I tire of this conversation. And, and it is late. <laughs> now it's out of should, character. We should rest. <laughs> and send, I, send, I, I, that sounds good. Harbin, if you would send a pigeon to let... Uh, uh, now you know that we have taken part. Well, I'll let him know. Oh, look at this. This one's actually uh, got something. Uh, one of them came back. That's Is good. it 30 gold pieces? That's, <laughs> that's all the other pigeons have. No, 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 it's gold. copper. What <laughs> Egypt filled this one? Uh, <laughs> he says, uh, he says, oh, this one's uh, from a crusade. Oh, I didn't see it in there when I checked it yesterday morning. What? Uh, crusade? I'll take it. The crusade. Don't worry about it. Uh, he says, hey, uh, and as yeah. you take it, it says, uh, it says that they will have something for you tomorrow if they're working on something mm -hmm. to keep an eye for a pigeon. Hey, I... All right. They sent so a pigeon ready. to warn us about the future. To anticipate. To anticipate something <laughs> important. <laughs> Perhaps we might send pigeons, in fact, to most of the towns or cities of the region. Yes, and Especially... we should put my business cards in them. Oh, genius. I don't think that necessary yeah, to I... raiding pigeons. No. Yeah. But... It might be too heavy. Right, so the pigeons can carry quite a bit. We've determined that each I, like, tug, like, push them aside, and I was like, wait, I don't really want to... I don't know if he's good yet. But... You're right, we shouldn't share our secrets. But I presume that the people of is it Crow's Reach? What is it? Crow's, Crow's, Crow's Gate. Crow's Gate. Um, I presume that the people of Crow's Gate and the neighboring towns and cities will be overjoyed to hear of the death of the dragons. <laughs> the people of Crow's Gate can burn, if you ask me. We're trying to make friends with them. You can. What's well, uh, against the people of Crow's Gate? Do you know something we don't? <laughs> yes, I do. My father didn't think very highly of them, but... Uh, the and he is. shouldn't, because they are... We travel to the Crow's Gate on diplomatic business. Are you going to be a problem? A liability? Because I have a feeling if you answer yes, they might kill you. These guys, not them. I <laughs> am not a liability, 
I am an artist. And they don't understand. I don't think the two are mutually. I'm not going to be an artist. It's their liabilities. It's not what I do. Pitchin masters are right hard buggers. What's her name again? Anerol. What? Anerol. And it begins. Already forgot her name. No, not Anerol. It's not what I did. Oh, it's what Esmira did. All right, what did you do? Excuse me, I was performing my art. We didn't ask for an explanation. We literally just asked of whether or not you'd be a problem. No, no I, I think your explanation might be valuable. Yeah. If he knows something about the probes gate that we don't know, it Please. might be valuable intelligence. So what is her problem? <laughs> then? Who is this Asmira? <sighs> Next girlfriend of yours? <laughs> As you can ask. I would never date such a vile creature. Creature? <clears throat> Asmira? is a wealthy merchant of Crowsgate who well, trades in silk. A stupid, stupid fabric, if you ask me. Well, it's better than yarn. He's rather nice. <laughs> uh, have you ever had a silk curtain before? <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> anyway, as Mira... No one makes them. It's stupid, but he only cares about curtain material, so... <laughs> as Mira stole my... Your heart? No! She stole my acting company. She stole your acting company? So we're not going to cause a problem with our um, gatherings of intelligence. Wait, 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 how does a merchant acquire... They buy it. But in that good? She tricked me. She tricked you? She funded my acting troupe. Tricked. She bought us a theater. It sounds like she was giving you quite a lot of gifts. I told her I didn't want a theater. I said I wanted to spread the word of Flinderin to the great people of this world. I think I like so... it already now. Yes, it doesn't sound like this would be affecting our diplomacy at all. Yeah. Perhaps we should retire and talk uh, strategy for once we enter the city. I agree. I'm fine to place down. Uh, you think you need interested. the rest. I will give you all a fortune. If you let me kill her. Do you have a no. fortune to give? I don't care. <laughs> Beyond what you can measure. No. I can measure quite a lot. And yeah. in fact, yeah. this, I can the Council of Free Holding Lords needs quite a lot of gold in order to fund the refugees that are currently uh, currently struggling all across the way. What we've got here is a good start, but we could use more to be sure. All right. Say I kill her, take over her company. I'll give you all its gold. But I don't, is that? No, you mm. can't just kill Quite someone. A There's a balance that needs to be had. If she didn't deserve... She killed me on the inside. It seems a fine balance. It seems she hasn't done anything illegal. She takes over, he leaves our company, I never have to look at him again. Well, that's not really how it... I'm afraid I have to disagree here. A wealthy merchant princess of the, uh, of the Close Gate might be useful to us. However... In fact, she may be the reason well, we are... Well, I do it. respect your work. You are not particularly valuable at the moment. <laughs> he helped me with the trebuchet. He did, yes. <laughs> but so could many of my guards on the wall. What we need right now they is backing from noblemen. And if this is a merchant princess, it sounds like we need her more than we need you. All right, compromise. You shut up about the princess. We get back your acting company. They can make money for us on the road while they're acting and stuff. I'm afraid I just don't make that much money. <laughs> <laughs> My good woman, I make plenty. You Proceed didn't have a theater. Us, I didn't then... need one. I was a traveling actor. <laughs> okay, you two, separate corners of the room, please. Yeah, why don't you go up to your burnt crisp? I want to. Perhaps we don't talk I want to a separate corner. <laughs> Thank you. I'm very. I take note of that. So he, the acting company makes very little money. Fool's entourage. Still some. And fool's entourage. We also get the merchant. Fool's entourage. What are you I don't saying? care about you. Are you the archbishop of fool's entourage? No, that's my acting troupe. <laughs> merchant on our side. Everyone wins. Thaumaturgy. You can use it to make your voice much louder. Yes. Yeah. Can you use reverse thaumaturgy to make someone it? else as much quieter? Yes. No. Oh, oh, I'm just going to press the invitation back. Uh, <laughs> can you silence him? 
<laughs> I don't think I have silence. Why do you not have that? Because I'm a life cleric and I heal and that's all I do. Daddy oh, was here. He don't shut up. <laughs> I should have just hit you with the 4d10 lightning. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't have brought me down. I think that it's a good plan because you only have her because she has your troop. We need her help. If we split the two, you can. She's not going to join you. We can figure Why not? Out. Because she only cares about herself. Well, does she care about herself not fine. being killed by the orcs? That's uh, the no, she only cares about playing her stupid roles of plays that she that wrote. That is literally herself. not possible. Uh, to care about her art and not care about her life. Uh, That's not possible. It is for her. I mm. kind of feel like he cares about his art more than his life. Exactly. I, I you would have to be a monument. I will gladly you. give up my life and then and the art. art yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is in your best interest to sleep, to get some rest, <laughs> and to stop talking for the evening before you dig yourself in a <laughs> deeper <laughs> hole with our friend here. Um, I am interested in doing this. Were you, were you suggesting that he do this? Uh, I have not the second lowest plus. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I was going to say, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> What's your wisdom save? Well, he can, he can roll with advantage. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. That's true. Very well. Well, then. I suppose we shall return. Yes. Tomorrow morning we set off at the Crow's Gate? Mm. Tomorrow morning, after we send uh, our pigeon, of course, and that's gather right. as much of this treasure as we can. It'll be useful in the journey. When, when we go to bed and we're like fully asleep, I would love to press the digitation, actually major illusion, a pile of my business cards on top of zero. <laughs> it's just an illusion. You're, you're, so you make an illusion really... while I'm asleep? No, for when you wake up. For when you wake up. Oh, okay. So I, I wake up and, and see them? Okay. And, and I see them and go, and then I then I leave the tent. <laughs> <laughs> I end it before you. I see them. I'm annoyed by them. After and everyone else the has, uh, has left the uh, the main keep here, um, Harbin is still behind. And he says, "No, I've been thinking, and I think, I think, if we take all these coins, and we start with the saddlebags, we start with the biggest coins, we start with the saddlebags." And we go you guys have left. It's just me. Yeah. I've already left. No, it's just on. Nick. It's, it's, it's just Nick being annoyed with me. Can I just... Harbin, how fast hmm? can your pigeons fly? Can they fly down? Late in or on late? Which one was faster? Well, it would be on late. Well, how would it be faster if they're late? Well, didn't they be late? They were fired okay, at the tree chain. <laughs> they're holding the gold. If they take the gold, can they get to the... where our main camp is, drop off the gold and come back? Minecraft. Like Minecraft. the town that, that sent you? <laughs> you mean, well, I came from Mayport. Yeah, them. They could take it, but it would take quite some time. Perhaps it might be better to use that cart your friends brought in. Who's going to take it? This is why I needed the sheep. The sheep could have taken the cart. They could not no. have done that. They definitely <laughs> sheep are 100% could not have done that. I know that. You have horses, <laughs> though. Mm-hmm. Well, they can't do it by themselves, and I'm not trying to. They, they can't just pull a cart. The, that's, that like, that's what the horses are for. I don't know if we want to leave an entire... With them? That's what I'm saying. Going, oh, you want to send it somewhere. Okay, okay I thought you were taking it with you. Um, well, I want to go back. He says, well, uh, I, I'm sworn to follow you, and uh, the princess, I believe, will insist on staying with Perhaps. you. Perhaps. Perhaps the big fella will turn into a bear sometimes. I'm just thinking yeah, and you can get help in town because he's Mr. weird. Can get him to leave this town. You guys are here. You were not here. That said, I think he's sworn a bit of a blood debt as well. Right, with the Ocker. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be talking to uh, Emir as well on our way out. But what out. if we just send, like, four birds? Carry Each carrying 13 gold. Maybe 30. Uh, 30 gold? Yeah. Well, I suppose we could do that. I can send them right now if you like. But why? Just send. <laughs> <laughs> they give them all up. They hate more. We <laughs> have given you 120 gold. <laughs> to be fair, make it rain. That's that's <laughs> quite a lot of money. 120 gold. It, uh, one gold, basically, for an untrained laborer like a farmer or something. Mm -hmm. One gold is like 
a hundred days wages. That's yeah, a lot. Of money. Yeah. So I, I was thinking more like send it to like the leader to give them the signal that we're on the right track. We're doing what we're supposed to be doing. We're still on their side. Like we're getting things done. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But it's like you write that to... stream of consciousness and it's onto a letter. And it's, like, <laughs> it's like you you put I a million that. dollars into several t-shirt cans <laughs> and just fired <laughs> them over the city. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Oh, uh, Harbin lives up and does what I she give said. each bird a little kiss on the head before they fly away. All right, and they each fly towards the hay for it. I walk over. He says, oh, I'm sure the king will appreciate that. Did, did I walk we... over and I say, those pigeons were actually extremely good. Okay. I would have done the same thing. I told you. I told you. <laughs> pigeons are great. But you might not like that. It's already in the morning. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> And what did you want to say for it? Uh, I just wanted yeah. to uh, come up to him and uh, apologize. We weren't able to find Thacker here. Um, so just we might be somewhere. We may do a, a, a brief run through of the towers to see if perhaps he met the dragons before we did. I, I, uh, perhaps we could, but something tells me he's not here. Does the princess have any guards with her? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, she brought a pigeon. 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 Oh, she says, uh, or he says, he says, Fiak is a smart man, and he's yellow. Yeah. If he had smelled dragon, he would have fled. I'm gonna. He was blue, right. so the concept is unheard of. I'm gonna study this pigeon master for a good while. All right, he tells you all sorts of stories about his yeah, life. And I'm gonna himself. use this guy's self whenever I go back to the city. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm keeping that in my head, just oh, telling okay. you. I'm That's using that to life. assist my. All right. This guy's saying. Oh, uh, well, with much. that, uh, as you all head off to bed, we will call this episode <laughs> of D20 Theater. <laughs> Woohoo! And curtain closes. Yeah! Uh, so, uh, he's That's Preston Editation. Bye. Bye. Bye.